Hey y'all, figured I'd do another installment for Slim Cowboy versus Walmart. This is uh, actually the thing I was talking about when I filmed the last one that uh, was going on, but that has come to a conclusion. Now, this one's kind of funny because Walmart goes full moron, and you don't ever go full moron. Now, if you're someone who likes to go full semi-automatic, I would recommend a shirt like this. This shirt you can get at ForgeFromFreedom.com. There's a link in my description that'll take you right to their website where you can check out this and other Second Amendment apparel. And the link does help out the channel a little bit, which is always appreciated. So on to the story. So this happened about a week ago, like I said, give or take. So what happened was I um, was at work, it was about 8.24 at night, and I called Walmart because I was finishing up and I wanted to check and see if they had any ammo that I needed. There was a couple different ammos I wanted to check on and I wanted to see if they had it and confirm their prices. So I called, got an elderly woman, asked for sporting goods. She put me through and no one picked up. It, the call bounced back to her three or four times when finally she's like, oh, well, there's no one there, I guess. Hang on, let me get you someone else. So I get put back on hold. And at this point, it's been about 10 minutes, and all of, suddenly someone picks up, doesn't identify themselves, doesn't say anything, just says hello. You know, kind of in a slightly irritated voice, but I'm like, okay, whatever. I, You know, I'm figuring it's probably either the sporting goods person or maybe a manager walked over. And I'm like, well, I'm looking for uh, 38 Special. Nope. Now he says it real promptly, not like a, like he looked and it's no, like as I barely finished saying 38 special, he was immediately, nope. And I'm like, okay, well, how about 357? Nope. And once again, immediately as I finished saying, you know, 357, nope, not even a pause, like he was looking in the case, not anything. And I'm like, okay, how about 22LR, which as I've shown in pictures on my Instagram, uh, you know, Walmart's around me, their their top shelf is nothing but 22LR. And he's, again, once again, immediately, nope. I'm like, wow, you really don't have anything tonight, do you? And he's like, nope. And I'm like, oh, well, is this a sporting goods, right? Oh, yeah, and, and hangs up. I'm like, okay. So I kind of had a feeling that he might not have been uh, accurate with what he was telling me. So I went and finished work. Now, I wanted to know who I was talking with because they never identified themselves or anything. So I called. I was actually just getting to the store. It was about right before 10. It was about 9.50. And I called the store again and I asked for the manager. I'd gotten the same woman, but this time I said, I'm like, I'm, I'd like to speak to the manager. Oh, well, what is this about? And I'm like, well, I'd, I'd like to speak the ma to the manager. Oh, but, but what about? I'm like, Ma'am, no offense, but I'm I'm asking for a manager. It's it's not something I want to discuss with, you know, just anybody. I'm I'm looking to speak with a manager. Oh well, hang on. So she comes back after about three minutes, four minutes of waiting, and she's like, "Oh well, um, what is this about again?" And I'm like, oh, "I'm looking to speak with the manager," and she's like, "Oh well, the manager's in a meeting now. It's almost ten o'clock at night." And I find that kind of odd that they were in a meeting. I'm like, okay, well, you know, who, when will they be out of the meeting? Oh, I don't know. I'm like, so there's not a single manager in the building I can talk to as a customer? Nope. So I'm like, okay, well, who is the current manager? Oh, they didn't give me their name. I'm like, so you can't get their name for me? Oh, nope, sorry. You're, you're going to have to, if you call back in like five minutes, uh, they might be out of their meeting. Now, I kind of knew because at 10, it was at that point, after five minutes, it would be after 10, and they would have, uh, like, they go home, and I guess the night shift takes over or whatever. So I kind of knew that she was just kind of get rid of me. But I'm like, okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. So I wait till about 10, 10. Now, at this point, I'm walking in, I'm walking through the store towards the sporting goods counter, and I call back. And the phone rings and rings and rings and rings and rings and then hangs up because it goes to after a certain time of night most of the stores have it set up where all the department phones will ring when someone is calling and then someone is supposed to pick them up and they don't at least not at my Walmart so I never got to talk to another person that night because as I got hung up on 
after it uh, timed out, I happened to walk up to the sporting goods counter, and lo and behold, all three of the calibers that I had been promptly told they were out of were in stock, including the 38, 357 Magnum, and the 22. So at this point, I was pretty irritated that I had just been lied to by someone who didn't feel like doing their job because this has actually happened twice where the person on the phone has lied to me. I have not, I have yet to tell the first story because the first story is much like this one but kind of uh, more boring. But this had happened before where a manager, in fact, had been in charge of checking for ammunition and said that there was no ammunition in the building. Now, I don't know if it's because of laziness. Well, I know it's because of laziness, but I don't know if it's because of laziness and political standing. I don't know if it's someone who's anti-gun who just doesn't care. But for whatever reason, there's a particular manager in this store that I now know of who does not care if people get what they need, especially if it comes to ammunition. So, by that point in time, the... Um, the corporate number was already down because they go down at not, they uh, close at nine, so I was not able to call the corporate number because it was ten o'clock at night at that point. It was ten ten or whatever it was. So what I did was I called the store I think like one more time to let it ring again and got nobody. So and I didn't feel like going to try and track someone down. So I got a couple things that I needed other than that and I left. So the next morning I. Once again, as I've done in all these, I called the corporate number and explained the story. And I said how I'm tired of being lied to by this store. You know, this is costing Walmart money. Not that I really care. But, you know, I'm like, this is costing Walmart money because instead of me buying the ammunition that I was going to buy, I walked out and went and ended up buying it somewhere else. And this is looks really bad on your management team when this is how it is handled that a customer calls into the store and cannot get a hold of a manager no matter what and then is berated and questioned by the person calling why they need to speak with a manager in other words so they can relay it to a manager of oh well this person's calling to complain or whatever so they can be told oh they're in a meeting or you know whatever I work retail so you know you, you see this stuff happen so I explained it all and I was actually on the phone with her for almost a half hour and she was like, yes, that's completely unacceptable. That's not our standard at all. And that's really unacceptable that that's how you were handled. And we apologize. It's the same thing I've always heard. But, you know, whatever. So she's like, well, I'm going to push this through to, I'm going to send this up, uh, up above me. And then it's going to be sent to the store. And you should receive a call uh, three to five days, I think is what they said. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'm thinking I'll get a call back and maybe maybe I'll hear something about, um, you know, wh why this happened. So I wait the three to five days and it, on the, I believe it was the fifth day, I hadn't heard from them. So I called back to corporate and I'm like, well, it's been five days, you know, um, haven't heard anything, haven't gotten a call, haven't gotten an apology, haven't got anything. Oh, well, that's, you know, that's not right. You were supposed to receive a call back and everything. So they said, well, we're going to send it again, but we're going to make a point of noting that you haven't been contacted and that this is going to go get escalated. So wouldn't you know it that after I made that second call and they talked about escalating it up further, that it was about an hour and a half later, I got a call back from the store. And I talked with the one department manager who had me relay the story. I explained how I've dealt with the one particular manager in the past lying to me. How I think that was who I might have talked with when I asked for the different ammo. But they did not identify themselves. So I don't know exactly if it was them. But it kind of reminded me their voice kind of matched up. I explained the story and everything, and they, once again, oh, that's completely unacceptable, you know, the, the usual, oh, we're so sorry, we're going to have a talk with the departments, and uh, it, that shouldn't be the situation where people don't go and check stuff, the same old, so on, so on, whatever. So, what they did to uh, appease me and keep me happy was 40 bucks.
and gift cards usable at any Walmart I want to so at the end of the day yes it was annoying yes it's frustrating getting lied to by Walmart but it uh, you know what I think I'm gonna get some ammo with these I think I uh, I think I think I can deal with it I think I think I'll accept their apology uh, so that's the story of the most recent uh, problem with Walmart. I um, don't know how many more of these I'll do because, uh, honestly, I probably should just pick a new Walmart to start shopping at. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any issues you've had with Walmart. I always do uh, enjoy hearing the different stories of people doing battle with Walmart and dealing with their uh, terrible customer service. But other than that, have a good day.